memories. I don't know what you're looking for, but cards on the table. You don't get more unreliable narrator than me. <laughs> it's my thing. And the collateral damage. <laughs> but don't worry about that. Ah, I remember you invading like it was yesterday. Heroes and villains working together. Imagine me being one of humanity's last defenders. <laughs> what a gas! Oh, that's right. You uh, don't have a sense of humor. If only the others had listened! I had big plans for us going out with a bang! But you know what they say about good intentions. You can't kill them all! <laughs> oh, 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 that's when we first met! Oh, we could have been pals, shared torture tips. But you, you ruined my Earth! That's my modus operandi! I hate being upstaged. So if you thought you could keep this very active pathological imagination in a jar, think again! Then, I discovered you'd been giving my Earth a makeover. What's a place like this doing in a guy like me? Well, I'll pick your brain about it sometime. Ice pick! <laughs> Don't blow this for us, man. <laughs> What'd I just tell you? Wait, we don't shoot these guys here? Aw, oh, okay, that's on me. Oh, Christ. Andy, baby! Is that you? Oh, I'm so glad you're alive. Shut I... it! It was a gamble adding you to this Task Force X, and I'm sick of your bullshit already. <laughs> so I guess you'll fit right in. Keep him in line. Bloody hell! Now you've just made it weird! <sighs> How? Hell no! Been there, done that, got the scars, did some healing. I'm not into that type anymore. Maladaptive narcissist? Comedians. Come on, dead shot! Ah, uh, Sharko, you wanna have a go this time? Uh, my hands are too large. We sure about this, Director? Oh, this brings back memories of my old Suicide Squad. Ah, here we go. They're all dead. What a tragedy. What a heartbreaker. The sprays of blood, the smell of singed hair, the viscera. Oh, the viscera. I'd definitely do it differently this time around. Cleaner. Well, congratulations, Task Force X. It took you all of 20 seconds to lose control of them. Hey, hey, hey! Don't misunderstand me here. <sighs> I killed my team because I truly cared about them. And even though I've only just gotten to know you guys, I care about you that much, too. Colonel Flagg, lock him up. For the record, I hate this. Oh, is it too much? Making new friends after a move is always tough. Oh, this is much more accommodating than others. Mandy, 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 quel surprise. I thought I'd never see you like this again. Like what, Joker? You're with your inside, still on the inside. You know how hard it is to get stomach bile out of a sport coat? <laughs> oh, which reminds me, does this joint do dry cleaning, or...? Cut the shit, I've heard it all before. You meet one psychotic bottom-feeding thug in face paint, you've met them all. 
And did you know the old me? We were never introduced. Suppose that's what my fashionable tardiness gets me. Here, from the coroner's report. Go on, take a good look. He was a mass murdering psychopath with a mug like spoiled meat. He poisoned Gotham City, then himself. Oh yeah, he got what was coming to him. Good Lord, he's, he was so old. Blah! That's your takeaway? You do have sunscreen on this earth, right? Those crow's feet aren't giving me hope. You don't play ball. We've got an entire wing at my new Arkham, specially made for pacifying clowns like you. <laughs> Sounds like it worked great on the last guy. Oh, I can't wait for this world to get a load of its new Joker. So many smiling faces to meet. And all thanks to you, Mandy. Don't think you can scare me, clown. One button press and I do what Batman never could. Solve this Earth's Joker problem for good. That's a promise. Ugh, I got chafed wrists like you wouldn't believe. You mind loosening the old friendship bracelets, big guy? This is a mistake. I don't know what the director's thinking, bringing a goddamn Joker into this mess. Say, what are we thinking for lunch? Sushi? You have that here? Richard, you're gonna love what I can do with chopsticks. Wink. Can it, Chuckles? You know, half the troops in the hall knew someone murked by Joker. I bet they'd just love to get their mitts on you. Ooh, don't threaten me with a good time, soldier boy. Joker was terrorist scum. Worst of the worst. The world's better off with him in the dirt. And if you think I won't bury you with him... I'm detecting some aggression here, Flatfoot. But if you're gonna kill me, you'd have done it already. Squad's got bigger fish to fry. And if keeping you alive means keeping them alive, I can keep it in the holster. For now. Colonel Flag! Is that affection for your squad I'm detecting? No! Oh. I knew there was a gooey center underneath all that bluster and body armor. Usually, I have to work a little harder to get it, but... <laughs> Mandy, dearest, welcome back. I just adore this whole musical interrogations bit. What a hoot. Clock's ticking, Joker. Start shooting straight. What really happened to your last squad? Like, emotionally? Hurt people hurt people, Mandy. Not like I need to tell you that. Reports peg you as last clown standing. You see, that smells like a double cross to me. Eh, more Semtex and charred entrails. <laughs> you know how far a human head can fly with enough explosive force? So you're sticking to the story that you murdered your team? Doing Brainiac's dirty work for him? My dirty work is mine and mine alone! See, where I come from, we take ride or die pretty literally. Well, you're on my world now, Joker. And I'm the one who decides when and how Task Force X lives or dies. You really think you're something special, don't you? But I see you right through you. You and your whole shtick. The hair, the fancy clothes, the swagger. Get this through your pointy little skull. I'm the guy that decides what goes up and where it comes down. Duly noted, Mr. Up, Down, Back, Around Guy, sir. I'll get that in my Rolodex right away. Quick question. What exactly makes you think I'm your problem child? I've met you before. I've met a thousand psychos like you. And every single one of them was a pain in my ass. I see. Well, I look forward to changing your mind, Mr. Flag, sir. Oh, P.S., how is your ass doing these days? Oh, you want to get up in my business, huh? I can get personal. What's the spill on you and the other clown, huh? She and the last Joker had Commish Gordon smoking two at a time. The shrink? Strictly co-workers, just like you and I. But hey, look at the bright side. You've got a wide open net, and I think I might be strong enough to love again. The stars are aligning. Do you feel it, Rick? You're gonna be feeling something in a minute, you little...
You're gonna have to work harder than that. You're below my rank. And I'm out of your league. So, you kill your squad to save them from Brainiac. Then Brainiac turns around and remakes Earth in your image. I don't buy it. Make it make sense, Joker. You still think I'm in cahoots with a big, bulbous brain? Well, let's run it down. There was the kidnapping, creative torture techniques, scrambling my DNA like stir-fry. Oh, hmm. I guess he did share my love language. Stop wasting my time. Oh, relax. Old Brainy don't trust anyone he can't control like an ill-fitting finger puppet. Least of all, yours truly. So then why turn an entire world into a monument for your phony pratfallen ass? You think that tacky sideshow was my idea? Darling, I'm a psychopath, not an egomaniac. Where's the subtlety, the wit, the measured panache? When everything's a punchline, the joke just isn't funny anymore. Hmm, why the long face, Flagpole? Don't you look forward to our little tete-a-tetes? I've always had a soft spot for you, Ricky boy. Well, not you, you, but you get it. So, hit me! Uh, with questions? Fine. So, you're amiable with Harley. Nothing more, nothing less. I'll buy it for now. You playing nice with Boomerang? Oh, I just adore that wily little marsupial. <laughs> Boomerangs. All these black ops play things in the toy box, and he goes with boomerangs. <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> Not a big fan of eye contact, though. Or showers. And shark? Hmm? Stay away. He doesn't need your hooks in him. Sharky, what a gas. I tell you, they don't make them like that back home. Would you believe fish don't wear jeans on my earth? <laughs> Wild, right? So what about Deadshot, huh? Lawton's kind of the uh, ringmaster of your little circus. Oh, whole Floydies like the soldier of fortune father I never had. Or maybe it's just that nostalgic smell of bullet casings and aftershave. Hmm. Hard to say. Yeah, yeah, you're one big happy family. All that matters to me is you keep each other alive out there. Just keep in mind, you might all be expendable assets to Argus, but none more than you. Oh, if it isn't my second favorite Mandy! You simply can't stay away from me, can you? As much as I enjoy dancing around it, and believe me, I'm a wonderful dancer, should we address the interdimensional elephant in the room? What's that, Joker? Why I don't toss your chalky ass back to the condemned carnival you crawled out of? No. What happened to my first favorite Mandy? Aren't you the least bit curious? Oh, I tell you, if my wall could talk... Well, it'd be awful impressive, for starters. I, I swear I've got her voice box around here somewhere. Um, uh, check my pockets? Irrelevant. All I need to know about her is where she went wrong. And if I had my guess, it had something to do with recruiting a ticking time bomb like you. Gasp! Character assassination! And believe me, I know a thing or two about assassination. But I'll drop a spoiler for you, new old friend. On my Earth... You didn't make it past this part. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, well, that's a punchline I haven't cracked yet. Run of show. Brainiac invades, corrupts the League, we send a squad, squad goes ass up, Brainiac gets Earth, and we get stuck with you. Am I missing anything? Well, you're really glossing over the friendships we made along the way. You were locked up on the Skull Ship. You must have seen something we can use. Something to make your squad sacrifice worth a damn. It's not so much what I saw, but what I smelled. Explain. Flop sweat, chum. Perspiration prickling on a big, brainy melon. Any comic worth his salt has a nose for it, and I could just smell it. That intoxicating musk of fear. So you think Brainiac's afraid? Of what? 
Bombing, obviously. This whole invasion deal. It's like he's workshopping a gag, running it over and over again, constantly adjusting the routine, tweaking each beat until he gets it just right. And it's not going according to plan this time. Yep. See, Brainiac's a lot of things, Mans. But take it from me, he's a pretty shitty improviser.